The suspect in a deadly gas station shooting is now in custody after turning himself in. Investigative reporter James Stratton, one of our reporters who broke this story, is here tonight. James, you're learning a lot about the suspect. And Derek and Joyce, we've learned the man in custody was previously convicted of first-degree intentional homicide. Through law enforcement sources, 12 News has uncovered who he is and his criminal past. Online Department of Corrections records show he was released from custody in March and was on probation. DOC says he was released on his mandatory release date, meaning he served two thirds of that sentence. Now he's a suspect in another homicide. As family members of Isaiah Allen continue to sit in protest outside of a now closed gas station where he was killed, the man who police say shot him is now in custody. Businesses like this that we know take advantage of us, they, they will not open. We will not support them. They will not get another dollar from us. Milwaukee police do say that man is 56 years old. We're not naming him because he's not officially charged. Court records show the man in custody was on probation for a homicide case dating back to 1989. In that case, he was convicted of shooting and killing a cashier while robbing a smoke shop. The suspect, according to Allen's family and witnesses, was working some sort of security for the Clark gas station at Tetonia and Roosevelt. Witnesses told 12 News Allen was shot over stolen snack cakes. It was another black son that mattered, that mattered to all of us. And we tired. We tired of burying our babies. Now, Milwaukee Alderman Andrea Pratt is calling for the city to require security guards to be registered and bonded. Currently, the state of Wisconsin does issue licenses to private security guards, but the state bars people with felonies on their criminal record from getting a license or carrying a firearm. And James, the alderwoman Andrea Pratt, who represents the area, also called for the business to stay closed. Yes, she did, Derek, and the gas station was closed when we were there this afternoon. Important to note, the gas station operator did not return our calls for comment. An employee told our Nick Bohr yesterday the suspect was not an employee at that Clark gas station. It's unclear tonight how long that gas station will stay closed. And the district attorney is reviewing those criminal charges. Investigative reporter James Stratton in the newsroom tonight.